Temperatures in the 90s may have you hydrating more and doing what you can to stay in the shade. And as Fox 43's Victoria Lucas reports tonight, pets also need the same treatment as extreme temperatures can cause some unwanted dangers. As we approach the summer season, the days will become longer, feel even hotter, and we won't be the only ones feeling the change. Our pets will too. If you are feeling hot, they are feeling hot because they are also wearing a fur coat. You might be more inclined to take your dogs out in the months to come, but animal experts advise to take them out closer to the evening than in the day as the temperatures are cooler. The macadam and sidewalks can get scorchingly hot for their paw pads. When you come back for walks, make, check their paws, make sure that there's no blistering, um, which can obviously, basically they would burn their paws. Lindsay High, Community Relations and Site Director for the Pennsylvania SPCA Lancaster Center, says it's important to watch out for the little things, like excessive panting in your pet, because that could be a sign of heat stroke. That panting is the equivalent of our sweating, and so the heavier they're panting, the hotter they are, and the higher um, a risk they take for things like heat stroke. The Humane Society of the United States also has some tips to keep your pet cool, such as limiting exercise on hot days, as some pets can experience skin cancer and have difficulty breathing. It's important to take the temperature of your pet and make sure it does not reach more than 104 degrees to avoid heat strokes. And remember to constantly provide ample shade and water. To get more information about how to keep your pet safe, especially in extreme temperatures, we will provide links to those websites on fox43.com. In Lancaster, Victoria Lucas, Fox 43 News.